What's up, y'all? It's your mama, little brother, man. Cool, my uncle, man. OG Freeze, man. Come here to get at y'all a little bit, man. On this Valentine's Day. Uh, sometimes, like, I see dudes always talking about stuff, like, when we come out of prison, a lot of people say we get a lot of prison talk and this and that. Yesterday, I had received a call from a friend of mine from behind the wall, man. These boys reaching out, man, from behind this wall, man. Shout out to the boys behind the wall, man. Shout out my man Lou, man. My man Lou from D.C., man. Big Sandy, man. He hit me up yesterday. And, and you dudes that be getting out, man, I just want to talk to you dudes that be getting out. When you dudes be getting out, man, a lot of people make promises to other guys that they're leaving behind. They sell these. Dudes they've been walking the yard with for years. And when they get out, they tend to forget about these people. You feel me? You hang with this man every day. Y'all was being together. Y'all help each other get through. Through some hard times. It's the person who you been kicking it with. You been venting with. And then when you get out here in these streets, you forget about that man you left behind. This man had about 10, 15 more years to do. You feel me? Anything. Because the crazy part about it be, you know, when you surround yourself around the right people, a lot of stuff don't even be about money. It just be about the moral support. Because a lot of times, you know what I'm saying? You know, the dudes I was hanging with, they just need people to do the small shit. You feel me? Take a get my books published. You feel me? Man, can you get these published for me? And you telling this man, yeah. And you don't build the bond with this person. You've been around this person five, six years. You feel me? Like that's a major blow to somebody in prison, man. That stresses them out. On top of a situation they may already got going on. This man may already got 10, 15 more years. Man, I never be getting out. But you don't help down to the words that you don't left behind. You feel me? Y'all just getting out here, man. That shit don't be cool, bro. That shit ain't cool. You feel me? That's why when I was in prison, I tried not to promise a lot of people stuff, and I kept my circle small, just like I do out here in the street. You see what I'm saying? So I do the same. I was doing the same thing. I started practicing the same thing in prison because I didn't want to keep making all the promises to a lot of people, and I know I wasn't going to be able to keep up with all of them. And then some people weren't even worthy. And that sometimes, you know, stuff play out to the end where you see a person really ain't even worthy of what you was going to do for them when they got out. So that starts showing itself too. But if it was a good man, you left him your number, your information, you talked to the man since you've been out, and you promised this man something, you know what I'm saying, whether it's financial or just a little more support that you'll be able to, you know, do something for his daughter, maybe his family, you feel me? So another member of his family, anything. You know what I'm saying? So a lot of people behind this wall have been reaching out to me, man, so I like shot them boys out because that's what I do it for. You know what I'm saying? I understand, you know what I'm saying, what's going on. I understand the mindset for real. This ain't no faking. This ain't no capping. You know what I'm saying? I ain't no college student. Ain't nothing wrong with being none of this that I'm named, but I'm a real deal. You feel me when it comes to this type of stuff? You know what I'm saying? So I'm the ambassador. I'm the penitentiary ambassador, man. I'm just going to say it like that, like I've been telling y'all. You know what I'm saying? So a lot of people brown because ain't no stain on my name. You feel me? And when I was behind that wall, I went by. I, I dealt with a lot of people from a lot of different areas. You feel what I'm saying? And uh, so I know these guys looking at me and they look at, or they may see me on TV or wherever or hear about it, what I got going on out here. You feel me? And it's inspiration to them to let them know that one of theirs made it. It's like a Vietnam vet coming from home, coming from war. You know what I'm saying? They, to see one of theirs, to see one of theirs make it, mean a lot to somebody in prison to say, man, I was in the dorm with that dude. I used to talk to this dude every day. And I was an approachable guy. I know a lot of people in there, a lot of good men. A lot of good men. You feel what I'm saying? It's not from where I'm from. You know what I'm saying? So I just wanted to make sure I brought that point up to you guys that's out here and you looking at me. If you don't told somebody you was going to do something for them that's in there, man, y'all stand on that, man. Stand on that business, man. Because we different out here. We ain't moving like this out here. You feel me? Unless you were just wearing a costume and you was faking. You know what I'm saying? So, but if you real... I know you got to feel funny inside to be hearing this, take care of your homeboy in jail and this and that, even hearing these rappers talk this real, this and that. Because, you know, when I was growing up listening to Scarface and all that, I was really trying, I was really try, a real nigga because that, that was what was going on back then. We preached being a real nigga. So we would grow up and try to stand on that. You know what I'm saying? So that's enough of that. That's what I feel like I'm going to talk some, like I told my subscribers, you know what I'm saying? I be talking some poor shit, some real life shit. You know what I'm saying? When I come on my platform and I want to get my I get my subscribers something, you know what I'm saying, that they can take home with them. You know what I'm saying? And we out here in Atlanta, man. Some big migrant crisis, immigrant crisis going on here in the world, man, that we need to be brought to our attention, man. 
They got a curfew in New York, man. They got a, the Mavs got a curfew, man. They're going crazy up there. They letting these folks out in Cali, man. You feel what I'm saying? It's sometimes, man, that's another thing that this, that this website is used for, man. It's also to give out information, man. We're in the information age. So it's only right that as an OG, I share information with my people. You know what I'm saying? And not my people don't also all, always mean no color. My people mean my kind. You hear me? You got to go by your kind. You know what I'm saying? You can't go by who look like you. Because it's going to be the one who look like you. going to be the one who do you in. You hear me? So you got to go by your kind. So I'm talking to my kind out here, man. Y'all be mindful out here, man. These folks ain't got no documentations or nothing. So they commit all kind of crime. Shootings, murders, raping, robbing. You feel me? What are they going to trace them back to? They ain't got no birth certificate. They just letting them in, y'all. You got to stay conscious, man. You know what I'm saying? Be intelligent, man. You know what I'm saying? I know it's going to go over a lot of people here, man. But they had a lot of them up there. <laughs> they got them in Hartville, y'all. You know what I'm saying? This, this stuff ain't going to just be happening in New York now. It ain't going to just be happening in Cali. They coming to Atlanta, too. So I'm just reminding all of mine, man. I hear wake up, man, while y'all out here, man. This shit getting serious now. While we out here smiling and giggling, listen to this mute, clubbing every day, be mindful, man, of what's going on. You still want to be able to pay attention to your surroundings, man. Always pay attention to your surroundings and know what's going on in the economy. You hear me? Because just, these just ain't honest people coming to this country, man. <laughs> <laughs> Other countries got killed us too, man. <laughs> one thing about black people that I noticed too when I was in prison, they think they the only one got some game. You feel me? Man, everybody everybody got nigga in them. You hear me? Everybody. Nigga ain't a color. <laughs> it's a mentality. Everybody got nigga in them. And I speak Spanish too. All that. So you yeah, so I know how to deal with they got nigga in them. Everybody got nigga in them, bro. But what I'm letting y'all know, man, be mindful, man, what they for letting in this country and that what's going on out here in the world, man. You feel me? Just, just pay attention why they pass all these gun law open carry. So just imagine a migrant with upper carry. He got on a motorcycle helmet. You know what I'm saying? Once again, summertime, he got the he got the the, the, the poo shiesty mask on. He ain't got no documentation or nothing. They can't trace him. I'm just letting y'all know this, man. Wake up. Wake up. Yeah, wake up. We ain't just out, don't just be out here partying. Y'all here partying in Atlanta thinking it's sweet. You out here partying and lying on kicking it sweet. There's somebody in the, from a third world country over here. You hear me? <laughs> they don't let them in from a third world country. See you with all this shit on. You hear me? Yeah. So y'all be mindful of that. Be mindful of that. They, <laughs> some of these folks been coming in with voting rights and everything. <laughs> the ones with the money, they coming in with voting rights. All that. Yeah. So, I ain't just out here talking my shit, you feel me? These type of stuff that I be telling the other people with these big YouTube platforms they need to speak on, man. If you're not just using your platform just to make money off the people. If you're doing your YouTube page and you're talking consciousness and you're talking conscious stuff and you're coming out and you're coming out, you know, kind of, you know, you're doing this because you know you have a servitude to your people. And if you're doing it for them purposes, or the servitude of your people, then you know you need to be speaking on certain stuff. You know what I'm saying? When you got a million subs and all this. You feel me? This type of stuff need to be spoken on. Then we get back into the entertainment. You feel me? We Then you get back to the entertainment. Shout out, man. It's your boy, little bro. OG Freeze, man. It's your mama, little brother, man. The cool uncle, man. I'm the cool uncle. You know what I'm saying? Not only be having that stuff on, but at the same time, the one I'm going to give you some game. I'm going to give you some ism. You feel what I'm saying? I'm going to give you some game, and then I'm going to analyze it for you and make it ism. You know what I'm saying? That's why. <laughs> I'm, your, I'm your cool uncle, man. That's why I'm your mama little brother, man. Y'all get at me, man. Y'all keep y'all head up out here, man. Y'all stay safe out here in the streets of Atlanta, man, because the migrants here. <laughs>